so apart from this apart from all these european databases that we discussed there is one more you know remember i told you earlier that one such example is ebi ebi european bioinformatics institute and this name is you know something like very very important in terms of bioinformatics tools two name ebi and ncbi ebi is european bioinformatics institute and ncbi is national center of biotechnology information both are playing the crucial role in maintaining a huge amount of data in all the different kinds of database so european biological or european bioinformatics institute uh, under uh, it is under embl okay what is embl full form european molecular biology laboratory embl they provide the bioinformatics information it's actually very important that we have a lab facility uh, which is wet lab facility of course and then we have this dry lab facility so what is the difference between the wet lab and dry lab and cross flow let's understand we have wet lab where we run all the experiment experiments are done experiments on uh, on dna rna uh, experiments on protein all these things we perform we do and then all the data that we gather is transferred to the dry lab where we store the data we analyze the data we modify the data and we cross talk or cross check cross check sorry cross check after after what cross check after modification after uh, prediction so we do prediction here of course we do prediction and then we cross check that prediction and then based on that we get a yes or a no or not up or no based on that we can understand an organism and how that organism behaves because now basically it's not likely you know there are plenty of years earlier when we see an organism based on its morphology and appearance we decide everything but nowadays we don't even look at morphology it doesn't matter whether how much similar they look from outside phenotype doesn't matter everything that matter is the genotype uh, how it's actually made up and everything is possible with this cross talk of wet lab and dry lab so that's why this always the greatest uh, biotechnology greatest bioinformatics tools can only be hosted when they are connected to molecular lab or wet lab facility so for example here is the european molecular biology laboratory embl under this we run the experiment on all and that hosts in the ebi okay it was established in 1980s okay at embl okay and it was first as a nucleotide sequence database it started as a nucleotide sequence database and then sooner it managed start managing different kinds of biological databases and now what we have we have dna sequences genome sequences we have microarrays proteomics structural genomics and so many different things are under this roof and basically when you heard this name you know genomics proteomics structural genomics all this sounds very complicated all this sounds very you know similar so people use this terms quite often so for that also i'll do a mythbuster portion at the end of this lecture which will help you to understand and forget all the misconception and understand only what is real okay so always we have a, we need a need we require a need to collect store and curate in all the little bit of information from genome proteome uh, structure of the protein and all the different places and put them together okay and we have multiple genome projects running uh, in different places of the earth okay and the data came in so we'll gather them okay so what happened in 1992 embl voted to establish this ebi and then this ebi got established EMBL started then, and the EBL got established in 1992. Okay, so basically, a, it provides the search assisted to lead bioinformatic revolution. That is what EBI is actually made for. And now EBI hosts various databases. Various. It actually let me write. It hosts various 
various databases okay so this various database what kind of database it can be it can be nucleotide database right it can be microarray microarray database it can be pathways protein pathways okay there are different pathways available in that database uh, protein structural database all these different types of database hosted under this ebi and there are various tools available as well there are various tools available that are actually these various tools that will help us to find out information regarding all these different type from different type of database like nucleotide sequence microarray pathways protein sequence and protein structure okay so for example let me write down important name of the tool one of them is